from uh, Poets of the Fall. Welcome to Excess Manchester Market. Thank you very much. Lovely to be here. You guys have been together for 14 years now. Yeah, that's, that's amazing, isn't it? It's, it's yeah. a long time. And you describe yourselves as cinematic rock. Oh, that's true. It's true. So, question for you. If you were okay. to describe uh, Poets of the Fall sound using three films... Ooh, that's what a good would that question. be for someone who's never heard Poets of the Fall? Three films. I mean, you can do like cross genre here if you want to. All right. What would those three films be? Those three films would be. Um, oh my God, this is a tough one. It's always tough. It, it's, it's, it's it's like uh, Blade Runner, Ooh. and and then it's like I don't know Star Wars, and then something something absolutely terrifying like. Um, I don't know, the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> this is amazing. You've picked, like, three sort of texts that all media students have to study. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you a media teacher as well? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's a career there somewhere for me. <laughs> right, so being together at 14 years, you must know the band pretty well. You get on well. That's true, yeah. And you've got a slight advantage now for this question. If you were to give, if the, I tell you what, if the band members were to give you a, sort of a, a character name, a caricature name, a nickname, mm. what would it be? Are you the diva? Are you grumpy? Are you the silly one? What would it be? I mean, um, you can pick a, a film character if you like, because you are cinematic rock. Right. Um, uh, oh, that's a tough one, though. I, I'm probably, uh, I'm probably the, the Yoda of the band. A yeah. bit reclusive and then, you know, stick to myself because I can't talk that much because I have to sing. So, and they're all very, very loud. You know, when we're on the bus, they're very loud and, and I'm the one who has to go and get some sleep so I can sing the next day. So, but I'm there. So, and then I just go like grunt when I have to say something. <laughs> <laughs> Is, are those grunts full of wisdom though? Are you teaching them things as well? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> the, the force is in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So you're currently touring with your latest album, uh, Clearview. What is an absolute must for yourself or as a band collectively that you must take on tour with you? Apart from your instruments, do you mm. have a comfort that you need to take on tour with you? Yeah, regs for me is uh, and, um, my mother's woolen socks that she uh, knits. She's really great at that, you know, so I have to have those, absolutely. How many pairs of woolen socks have you got knitted um, by your mother? Boxes, literally, yeah. I mean, because, I mean, she gives them to you every time you go over to their house. It's like, you know, I, I, I knitted some more, and do you like these? Do you like these? Yeah, Mum, I love them all. Oh, well, we'll have these. Oh, okay, I've got 20, but thank you. You know, so, and it's, it's absolutely brilliant because... Uh, we do wear them a lot and they get worn out and everything, but, you know, still, it's, it's, it's you know, mother is there all the time. So she makes them for all of the band, too. Oh, that's true, yeah. And for all our friends and everything, like last Christmas or this Christmas, I was just there and I was like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to grab, like, two pairs for some people that I want to give them. And she had, like, three boxes full because it takes her uh, six hours to make a pair. So that's one pair a day, Aww. you know, so that's lovely. That is lovely. Where is she? Where does she live? In Finland. Oh, yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> this is just. I can imagine her sat by the fire with her knitting needles. That's she true. got a cat by her feet. No, but there is the actually a, there is actually a fire there. Yeah. I, I love it. What a life! I want that life. <laughs> you will have it. Then. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, 2017 after touring, because mm -hmm. you guys are still on tour until April. That's true. Um, what are you most looking forward to? Um, on tour or after tour? After the tour. After the tour. Mm. I think it's the sort of, uh, you have the choice of starting a, a real life <laughs> in a way that you get to go home and, you know, you get to get into your uh, everyday home routines, whether whether it's just like, I don't know, doing the dishes and watching uh, washing laundry. But also, you know, you want to go to the gym and, you, you know, you want to meet your friends and you just want to start cooking again and having, like, good food and everything. <laughs> so that's great because on tour you kind of eat what comes along. You know, mm. and sometimes it's uh, not so great. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to having all that. Lots of food wrapped up in plastic wrappers. Uh, kind of, yeah, yeah, like a single serving toast or something, you know. Well, there's no such thing as, I don't know, double serving toast, but still it's like vacuum packed toast that's floppy when you take it out and it's supposed to be crispy and nice. Yeah, yeah. You know, and all that stuff, but, you know. Dripping with oil. Yeah, yeah, and I do miss, I do miss my, uh, my gym and everything, you know, to go there and just pick up that kettlebell and swing it about and break places and you know usually myself as well in the process <laughs> but, but yeah brilliant so as a band and this is a tough question mm -hmm. 14 years you've been together we discussed that 
what what is that point within that career so far there's a moment in there that you'd love to tell the grandkids that you're so so proud of a certain memory that you will never forget of being in poets of the fall oh wow it's it's one of those uh, superlatives isn't it like and those are really really hard to remember afterwards but i think it's uh, when when you get up on stage and uh, something goes completely awry, you know, well, we've had these experiences as well, and then you're like, oh, but we turned into a success, you know, and everybody really loved it. And when you get, when you get like so into the whole music and everything with the audience, you get that energy going back and forth. It's just like, you know, you get goosebumps and you have those chills literally running up and down your arms and your spine and your body and you're like this is the greatest thing you know that's that's what that's the feeling that you would want to share mm. you know so i guess you know and, and i think one uh, one thing is that for us this was uh, a long time dream that we realized and and sort of being able to convey that idea to someone else that, that if you want to do something you know it's possible you just need to find the way to do it you know and i think that's also very important that was uh, me and marco of poets of the fall uh, came into the studio to have a chat with me and uh, this is the